Now, on the other side of things, you know that you breathe oxygen in and CO2, that carbon dioxide, out, which we call carbon diacid, since it makes the blood more acidic, right? So, in respiratory acidosis, we have low and slow respiratory rate. So, just think the respiratory rate is slow in acidosis. Naturally, a client with hypoventilation is not breathing out that CO2. So, more carbon diacid is retained in the body from low and slow breathing. So, the memory trick, just think of someone sleeping here or snoring like... They kind of sound like respiratory acidosis. Sounding like someone snoring, right? So, breathe slow in acidosis. So, common causes are from sleep apnea, that airway obstruction at night, which can lead to acidosis. And head trauma from being like knocked out, like in a boxing match. You went to sleep, you went memes, and now you have low and slow respiratory rate, and you're in acidosis. Or post-operative, like after surgeries, when you're waking up from anesthesia, and that body has been put to sleep from all that anesthesia. The respiratory rate will be low and slow, putting us into acidosis. Okay, now for drugs, CNS depressants, this one's huge on exams, so write these down. This makes the breathing low and slow. It makes the vital signs in general low and slow. So opiate overdose, morphine, hydromorphone, etc., as well as alcohol intoxication. That one's a huge one. And benzodiazepines, ending in Pam and Lamb, like diazepam. All CNS depressants make the breathing slow, putting the body in acidosis. Now, we can also have impaired gas exchange from, let's say, pneumonia, where we get thick mucus buildup inside the lungs. So you have to ask yourself, do you have good gas exchange? Well, no. So CO2 is retained in the body, making the blood more acidic. And COPD or asthma attacks. Do we have good gas exchange? Well, no. So CO2 is retained. So just think COPD retains more CO2. You like that, did you? Well, click here and get access to over a thousand fun visual videos, 300 study guide cheat sheets, and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Neatly organized in our new app. Click here to get started for free. Now on the other side, for respiratory alkalosis, we have a fast respiratory rate. Hyperventilation is the key term you have to know. So hyperventilating from, let's say, an anxiety attack from taking a nursing exam. So the memory trick we use, think of a person panting like a dog, basically breathing too fast. It'll put them in hulk, 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 respiratory halkalosis. So the big one to know for exams is a panic attack or hyperventilation. So you have to ask yourself why though. Well, again, in hyperventilation, we blow off all that carbon dioxide, that carbon diacid. So all that acid leaves the body, right? Which leaves the body in which state? Acid or base? Well, you just blew off all your acid, so you're only left in base, an alkalotic state. So just remember, hul, 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 alkalosis. Now, Kaplan mentions, what is the cause for respiratory alkalosis? And the answer is hyperventilation. So again, just think for your exams. Every condition that's breathing too slow is acidosis for respiratory acidosis. And every condition that's breathing too fast puts the body into hul, 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 alkalosis. Now for the top missed exam question here. The nurse expects which client to be in respiratory acidosis. So before looking at the options, just think here. Acidosis is that slow cis, so slow breathing. So option number one, morphine overdose. Yes, it makes things low and slow, putting us into acidosis, like snoring acidosis. Now option two is incorrect, a panic attack. We have fast, rapid breathing, more hul, 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 alkalosis not acidosis. 
Now, option three is correct. Sleep apnea. Yes, we have slow acidosis. Remember, like snoring, acidosis. Now, option four, this one's tricky here. COPD is correct because do we have slow or fast breathing? Hmm. So just think about it here. We actually have decreased gas exchange from chronic obstruction. So CO2 is actually retained, putting us into acidosis. So that's correct. And option five and six are also correct. So an asthma attack, you have to ask yourself, can they breathe? Well, no. Is that good gas exchange? Well, then no. So we have low and slow airflow, putting us into acidosis. And six was a little bit of an easy one here. Alcohol intoxication, yes. Alcohol is a depressant, making the respiratory rate low and slow. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.